Hello, my name is Raymond Stapleton with DragonBlogger.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about a product I happen to have sitting right here. Mescal, mescal. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but this is a product that I started to review incorrectly. This product, when I first got it, I was thinking because it has the ability to charge a USB device, that it's probably and most likelihood a battery backup device. So when I started thinking about it, I started to approach it from that point of view. But this is not what this product is. This product uses a USB cord to provide power for your devices while you're sleeping. As you can see, there's numbers flashing on and off on the front here. And the manual that comes with this is probably one of the best manuals that I've ever gotten in an electronic product through the mail ever in my entire life. I'm, I'm not kidding about that. Every step, every detail of every step is laid out completely. If you look at the top, we have a number of different functions here. Uh, time, we can set the hour, the minute, we can dim the lights, we can set up for daylight savings times, we can adjust through channels and for different vo uh, um, uh, radio stations that we might want to. We can program certain radio stations into place. We can hit the big old snooze button here if we want to. We can set alarms, we can adjust the volumes, we can turn off the alarms or we can turn on the radio itself. And we have a projection mode button right down the end. And then, of course, a curious little projector right there. Now, interesting. I've got a scratch on my screen, it looks like. I'm going to pause, and I'm going to look at that. Oh, there it goes. It disappeared. Anyway, um, what I want to point out is how easy it is to set the time. I'm going to go into time mode here. And notice, as soon as I click that button... Everything stopped. But when I click the other buttons, nothing happens. So if I hold time down, I can see that I can adjust the time. So I've got to hold it down to get into the hours. But it wasn't fast enough. Now it's set for 3 o'clock. Hold it down till it's blinking. I can adjust the minutes. Wait a few moments till it stops blinking, or just simply hit the time button one time, and I can go into um, regular time. That's now, I'm just setting that as a time. It's arbitrary, it's not really the time, it doesn't matter right now for this demonstration. It's just an arbitrary number. I can go in here and set the alarms the same way. As long as I press the button, then I can set the alarm to whatever time that I want it to be. Know what the other time was set for, but now I have an alarm set, and I can tell I have alarm set because it says though right there. Also, I have an alarm indicator right here as well, so I've got alarms here, indicators, and other indicators as well. I can turn on music now. Right now, there doesn't happen to be any station there, so let's see. If it can find one for me. There you go. Now, I can go through various different um, stations or again, press and hold to turn it off. Uh, I've got AM and I've got FM to work with. On the back of this device is a small little antenna that currently is all coiled up and tied together. If I need to, I can extend that and put it up someplace. Uh, and that will be available to me uh, if I happen to be in a place where I need to have longer range for my uh, received frequencies from the, uh, the antenna. Now, the other thing that is nice is that I can set this up so that at nighttime I can see when the time happens to come up. Very, very difficult. In just a moment, I'm going to do this and actually turn off the lights. But something I learned about this is what if 
I set this up and I'm looking at it, the sky and I've got this pointed straight up at the, at the ceiling and the numbers are backwards. Hmm. Let's uh, just take a just a moment and I'm going to walk over here to the wonderful light switch. I'm going to turn the lights off. It's not real dark in here so hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm going to try to decrease the ambient light just a little bit. And I'm going to show you that the numbers are on the ceiling. Now, depending on how far away it is, it depends on how bright those numbers are going to be. But just for our purposes, I'm going to project them onto the wall. Now, if I press the button again, it flips the numbers over. So no matter which direction I happen to have this facing, whichever way I need to have that uh, projector part facing, I can actually have the numbers appear the right way. Now, if they're out of focus, because the further away from an object you get, uh, the, the more out of focus it's going to be, there is a focusing ring at the top of the projector, and I'm going to sweep back over here and get the, the lights again. But there just happens to be a focusing knob right there, or uh, adjustment, I should say, that allows me to be able to change the focus of this device. Now, of course, as always, I have to set things down sometimes in order to be able to move the cable over here. But I'm going to plug this cable into my Android to see if it will actually charge my tablet. And I will know if it's charging, hopefully. Just a moment. It should tell me. Usually it tells me. Sometimes it tells me. And I will go here. Oh, there's my battery. And it says here that it's charging on AC. It is charging on the power that's being plugged in from the back of this device. Now, some things to know about this. You see right here, there's one other little thing here. This little opening, that is to allow me to put batteries inside there. The only purpose of those batteries is to keep the time and your alarms set when you unplug that wall plug there. Because sometimes you're going to have to unplug that to take it with you. Or you might have power loss overnight. And you don't want to have to go back and reprogram your programs. You don't want to go back and redo your alarms. You don't want to have to go in and reset the time. Guess what? As long as you have batteries in there, it will keep the time for you and keep your programming in there. It will not in any way, shape, or form charge your device for you. You have to have it plugged into the wall in order for this to charge that. Now, I tested this out on two different devices. I tested it out on my tablet. I also tested it out on a small cell phone that I have. Both of them charge just fine. I've tested this out at nighttime. And I'm hoping... Well, that first alarm, I was hoping it would uh, actually ring for us. Hang on here. Okay. Let's see if I can get that to ring. I want to hear the alarm. Apparently, I didn't have it set right. Hey, that happens even to us. Uh, so in, a, in just a moment, it should ring. That's what I was trying to do earlier. But, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. But the, there, you hear that? Now, being so close to the camera as we are, it's quite possible that you hear it. Oops. You're hearing it fairly loud because we're right there. I'm going to tell you that if you're a heavy sleeper, that's the only thing that I see about this device that I'm not sure about, is that the alarm is not very loud. Is it going to be louder if you set the volume of the radio up higher so that the radio plays higher? Well, let's find out, okay? Let's find out. So... Okay. There we go. Okay. So I set the volume of the radio up higher. It's 318. Let's set this so that it goes to 319. Tell it that it's set. 
Now it's still set for just the beep, beep, beep sounds. We can set it to actually have it to, to radio. The manual details how to do that perfectly. But let's see if it's any louder because we raised the audio volume of the radio. I hate not talking while this is going on, but it's important that we test these features out to see if they actually function. Hmm. I didn't hear anything. Well, let's set this up for one more minute. There, that's what I wanted to set. Please stop doing that. There we go. Just in case that I did. No. As we can see, it really doesn't matter whether we have the volume high or the volume low on the radio. It doesn't change how loud or how soft the volume of the beeper is. Now, one thing I do want to point out, and I'm going to show you this by two things. One is I'm going to unplug that. Notice that when I unplug that, it says approximately 11 hours left to charge, well, or left on the battery. As soon as I plugged it back in, it says it's charging. But because I don't have batteries in the back of this device to keep the time where it was, the time has gone back to blinking again, and so it's off. How would I rate this device overall? Personally, I like it. Uh, I'm a light sleeper, being in the Navy and, and being on submarines and going through all those drills that we went through certainly makes it easier for me to wake up even at my advanced years. But if I were somebody like my sons, my two boys, who have to have like five alarms to go off before they wake up, or my wife who doesn't seem to wake up quite as easy as I do, the alarm volume with the beeper may not be the right choice for those persons who have that problem. In those cases, I would say put on the radio and have some music to wake you up when you wake up in the morning, because at least then you can increase or decrease the volume. Now, there's always a possibility that I miss something in this, but if that's the only thing that I have that I would mark against this product, everything else I mark for this product. This is one that I would recommend, especially for those of us who travel a lot and would like to be able to have a device that not only functions as our radio and our alarm clock, but one that can help in assisting us in keeping our phones charged as well. For DragonBlogger.com, this is Raymond Stapleton. and wishing you a great evening and even better tomorrow. Good night, folks. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.